This is the, uh, the F1 Pratt & Whitney F135 turbofan. It's, it is the engine for the F35. It, it, it is a, a little bit closer. Okay. So this is a quarter scale model. The engine produces 43,000 pounds of thrust. It is an after burning turbo fan. From the front here, we have a, a fan. Okay. The, for just general operation of an engine, right? The air comes in the front. It, it gets compressed by the fan. Some of the air goes around the outside. It's called bypass air. Some of the air goes on the core of the engine and that into these components here, which is the high compressor, then the combustor. Fuel is in, introduced in the combustor and ignited and expanded through the turbine. There's a three stages of turbines, a high turbine, a low turbine, and then it goes into the exhaust where, if need be, there is an afterburner for increased thrust and then the exhaust nozzle here, which articulates, um, expands when needed. Everything you'll notice, all the components are on the lower half of the engine for maintenance. So much, many of these components are accessible while it's in the airframe. So you can reach through the airframe and change components. The engine comes out of the airframe and can be separated into modules. So the nozzle module, exhaust, power module and fan so you can remove one module at a time and replace a faulty module if you needed to without having to change the whole engine. Uh, it is based on the uh, F-119 engine which powers the F-22 Raptor. Uh, that engine was before that based on uh, derived from uh, the F-100 engine which powers the F-15 and F-16. So there's a long uh, history at Pratt Whitney of developing fighter engines. Uh, so this um, uses similar to the F-22 engine core and adds the, the you know, latest material technology, latest control system technology um, to uh, meet all the performance requirements that the F-35 needs. Yeah, so it's, it's 43,000 pounds of thrust. That's about 190 kilonewtons of thrust in, in one engine. So that in one engine has enough thrust as two or more typical engines. Uh, th that's important because with that much thrust, you don't need the afterburner as much. So you can take off fully loaded without the afterburner. You can cruise at high speed without the afterburner. So it's it it's uh, you know it, you can save some save some gas that way, and uh, it enables the uh, the F-35 to do to do what it needs to do with one engine. The F-100 229 engine, which powers the single engine F-16. Um, you know, that, that has, that's the most reliable single engine propulsion system in the U.S. Air Force. So we've built upon that and made it even, even better. Uh, we've maintained, in, with 250,000 hours of operation, a 94% mission capability rate with this engine, which is meeting, we, where we need to be. Um, it is, if you look at older generation turbofans like the F-100 or others, for this amount of time in service, this engine is 13 times more reliable, based on the number 13 times, just in the, in the time frame it is. And it's only going to get better as it matures.